Okay, if you've got the wireless watcher net, uh, network watcher installed and you've recorded a device that's connected to your network and you don't know who it is and you're pretty sure it's uh, you know a neighbor or somebody who frankly has hacked into your network, uh, here's what you're going to want to do. Yeah, it should show up here uh, whether it's actively connected or not. If it was disconnected, uh, you know, it came on in the middle of the night and got in and somehow you know, it's now off the network. If you've got it set to show inactive, inactive devices here, it should still show up on the list, but it'll have a red X next to it, meaning that it's not actively connected. Anyway, you can come in and you can now see the IP address of that device, uh, the MAC address of that device, and, and over here, of course, when it was first detected, how many times, whether or not it's active. It's valuable information in itself. But now, what do you do about that? Of course, you want to block those people. So here's what you do. You want to go into your router, uh, which is not terribly difficult. Um, if you don't know how to get into your router, the, the router will be listed on your list of devices. Right click on that and it will show you your IP address for that router. Now that router, once you've got that, you go here to your browser and you just type that in right here and you hit enter. Uh, ignore that slash apply. Just type in that, that uh, digits with the dots, hit enter, and it's password protected usually and if you don't have your password for your router that's another issue. There's a way to reset that. But go ahead and come log into your router, go into wireless, and then wireless Mac filter. And depending on your type of router it may be uh, you know device filter or something like that. But it's going to be under the wireless section in a some kind of a filter to uh, prevent or block or allow users. So here you want to uh, click enable to enable this filter and you can either permit only a certain list of them if you just have your friendly devices and you just want nothing else to connect you can do that or you can prevent certain people like you've identified on your list. So right here prevent edit Mac filter list now right there you can go in and that's where you go back to here the MAC address you can get that and you can type it in manually or for instance this router has a feature where you can go ahead and click this and it will read what is on your network and you can just click it to add it to the list so once you've added it to the list go ahead and save changes I'm gonna cancel because I didn't do anything and you should be all set. Go ahead and save your settings here. So now you should be able to monitor uh, that device should not be able to come back on your network. So I hope this all helps and uh, you know you never know if you're being watched or being hacked and frankly someone could be stealing bandwidth or getting in information. You, you never know especially in a crowded neighborhood or uh, uh, apartment complexes. It, it is not terribly difficult to hack into a lot of networks and that's another reminder to have your uh, password set up properly in your encryption. Hope it helps. Subscribe, like, and comment, and uh, good luck, and stay safe. Bye.